Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. So happy to have all of you here with me. Today I want to share about social anxiety when around family and especially family you haven't seen in a long time. It's the holidays. We're all getting together. This can be really nerve-wracking for us light workers or spiritual beings who are going through so many changes and we're starting to fill into new identities of who we are and um, we're starting to let go of the old. And then when we get around family, we can feel like this crazy amount of pressure, not to try to be someone false or inauthentic, but this pressure to not fall back into old patterns. And this, you know, these your family doesn't know you um, any differently than you were, you know, every other year. But if you've gone through a spiritual awakening, you know in your heart how different you are. And to try to, you know, to try to reconnect with family can be really hard for us sometimes. It can cause so much anxiety, so much anxiety and fear. Uh, that's what I went through today, actually, and that's why I wanted to share. But I also want to share why it's such a beautiful gift from the Creator, the, you know, the universe, the quantum field. Because truthfully, in these scenarios, all that's happening is the quantum field is just helping you to feel feelings that you've been avoiding feeling and that it's, it's helping you to feel feelings that will help you to wake up and will help you to really step into your power and, and that's the other thing I want to say this real quick if you're feeling lots of anxiety around family it could be just energy and excitement that your mind is mislabeling as anxiety and fear um, so keep that in mind too a lot of times when we get around family and we have all these new inner discoveries that we've went through since the last time we've seen them we can be really excited to see them because there's this part in us that actually wants to see them to share and, I, and to share our new discoveries. And I don't mean to share like our new concepts and spiritual verbiage and uh, you know what I mean? Our like new ideologies about what life is and all this stuff. I mean share our new energy, to share our more of a, in an open hearted way, to share our presence and our appreciation and our higher vibration. So a lot of times we're just super excited to share the God within us with our family. And so sometimes, you know, when you have lots of energy and lots of feelings, it's not always um, anxiety. So don't let the mind trick you. It, it could just be excitement. So I want to share what happened today. Here's what happened with me. I went to town to do a workout. It's my grandma's 80th birthday party today. So exciting. All, all the family getting together, huge, like 50 or more people. <laughs> So basically, you call it a, it's like a family reunion. So I, I wanted to go to the gym, get a workout in um, before, just to, whatever, just to get a workout in. And I, uh, I, I couldn't shower there. So I asked my grandma, hey, can I shower at your house? Because she lives right down the street from the gym that I work out at, and it just was really convenient. So I go over there, and I'm expecting to see all my family at this um, restaurant place that we have rented out, right? So... That's when I'm expecting to really see everyone for the first time. And so I go to my grandma's house and there is like so many people there that are in my family. And right when I walk in, there's, I don't know, 10 or 15 of my family members that I haven't seen in ages, um, all crowded in this kitchen. And I'm just like all eyes on me right when I walk in, right? And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is cool. I love seeing all these beautiful people. But at the same time, since the last time they've seen me, my life has been turned upside down. I've gone through craziness, you know, and we all go through changes, yes. Um, but it's a pretty unique experience to go through a spiritual awakening and then reconnect with old family members that haven't seen you um, since before it happened. So it was just like, whoa, I just was feeling so much energy around everybody, you know, and we're all, we're naturally empaths em and sensitive beings anyways to energy so I just felt all this energy in the kitchen and I was like trying to talk to people and there's this baby here and a cousin I hadn't seen in three years or longer my uncle and aunt are there I mean just so many people my grandma's there we're all I'm trying to talk to everyone at once <laughs> and like at the same time stay grounded which is so difficult and I just remember like as and then I finally went downstairs to shower so I had a little reprieve and as I was in the shower, I just like remember looking at my hands and just kind of seeing them shake. And I just was like, whoa, there's a lot of stuff worked up here. 
And then what happened is my mind started creating a story out of all the energy saying, this is anxiety, this is panic, you know? It kind of fell into, here's the thing, when we're around family members and we've established old energetic bonds with them over the years, your anxiety and your uh, susceptibility to feel panic and fear is never going to be higher. It's going to be so much higher around family members that you share so much generational karma with than it would be just like a group of strangers, truthfully. If, like, if I would have walked into a group of strangers, <laughs> it would have brought up less energy and feelings than um, these family members that you know I have these strong interwoven energetic bonds with. And so when I was in the shower, I just remember my mind was uh, really trying to make a story out of these feelings, trying to tell me how it was fear and panic and how I was going to go upstairs and have a panic attack. <laughs> and this is the part I wanted to share with you that's the most crucial part. As I was getting ready to walk up the stairs, I had showered, I had put my clothes on. I was feeling so much fucking, like my heart was pounding. I had so much energy worked up. All my family I hadn't seen were still up there in the kitchen. like. And I just remember my imagination was making the feelings so, like they're making a whole story out of them. And I was just sitting there thinking like, this doesn't have to be true. This can just be energy and I can just go into my feeling center and just allow the thoughts to be there. And I remember doing this, and this is hard for me to admit even, because I'm trying to become a coach to help people. But I think through my experiences, this helps people. I walked up the stairs one time and stopped and then walked back down because I was like, oh my, this is too much anxiety. It's just too overwhelming. There's too many people up there. I'm too overstimulated. And my kundalini is going, is just raging. And my mind is, is having trouble because, you know, it hasn't been this, you know, it hasn't been this stimulated in a long time. Like, this is one of the hardest things for us um, on the spiritual journey of spiritual beings is going into an environment with family members that, like I'm saying, we've uh, established all this history with. It's really one of the hardest things, but it's actually one of the most powerful things and beautiful things as I'll get to as well, because with all this energy, and all this feeling comes the monumental and massive opportunity to truly transform all of this, um, all of these past relationships and energetic bonds. So this is hard for me to admit. I walked halfway up the stairs and walked back down. I was like, I just don't think I can do this. <laughs> I was like, really? I haven't felt this much. My heart was just pounding. I was like, I haven't felt this much nervous excitement, energy, anxiety in so long. And I was like, wow, I was really taken aback. But then I was like, you know what? I rem remembered a, somewhat of a quote I wrote where, where I said, whenever I'm walking into my fear, I'm in alignment. And if I, in my role in this, life is to walk into my fear and then help others to walk into their fear. And I, and I had that quote in my mind. I was like, and I said, when I'm walking away from my fear, then I'm out of alignment and life is just a lot, it just doesn't feel as good. And that's what I was like, you know what? I got to walk right into this fear. And I even made a, I even made this, um, deal with myself and said, it's okay. Whatever happens. It's okay. If you have crazy anxiety, it's okay. If you have a panic attack, <laughs> even though I haven't had one in years, and, and it's like, it's okay, whatever happens, you just got to walk into the fear. So I walked upstairs and had the most beautiful, deep, restorative, loving connections with everybody I talked to. It was amazing. This energy that was coursing through me, it wasn't panic, it wasn't anxiety. It, it, it wasn't a scent, but it really what it was, it was just source. It was just God. It was just my higher self wanting to come through and share with others. And everyone I talked to, I felt like I tried to make them feel special and I tried to shine my light on them. And I was just giving from a very honest and authentic place. And I was having all these just really authentic and real conversations with some vulnerability. And, and I connected with even my parents, best friends in a new way. And it, it was just such a beautiful experience to really you know, to cultivate more trust in source and more trust in God. Because guys, for a minute there, I was like, God, you've actually given me more than I can handle. I like, I just walked into this unex unexpectedly. And I was like, wow, this is taking me to my very edge, God. As I was walking up the stairs the second time, I was like, really? I'm feeling this? These are the feelings that I must feel. And... <laughs> 
But lo and behold, God did not give me more than I could handle. He took me to my edge for a moment. Yes, she took me to my edge for a moment, of course. But in going to that edge and walking into my fear and just being there, I had so much energy to really radiate outwards and to share. And this energy I found, if I was sharing and if I was really listening to people and if I was really opening my heart, this energy would just really flow through me and it would just really circulate out. And that's what the energy needed. It wanted, the energy just wanted to express. It wanted to just, you know, come out to, to just really help others feel the joy and the peace and the love that is within me. And that's what I did. I, I, I just really had a really great convert. Like I said, I connected on a deep level with everybody. And it felt like I was connecting with these people for the first time in many ways. And that's what you'll notice when you go back home or when you go connect with old family. It's the mind that will make a story out of what it's going to be like based on your past experiences and your past patterns and conditioning. But truthfully, if you've awakened and if and if you've really let go of a lot of that stuff that used to run you, you'll notice that these connections you make will feel like the first connection you make with them again. And it's like you're rewriting the script. You're rewriting generational family karma. And this is why there was so much energy is because there was such a massive opportunity for me to go into my family bonds and to just rewrite them and to heal them and to restore them into a place of love and peace. And there's no bigger opportunity to do this than when you're with around family, close family, extended family. This is where you can do the most healing. But this also comes with the the massive test. It also comes with um, just a lot of energy and feelings. You're going to have to feel a lot. So a massive healing, but it's also a massive challenge. But it feels so good in the movement of it. And then the anxiety will, like as I was in it, I would feel peace and joy. And then simultaneously, there was this anxiety still there, this fear. But I could feel it like literally in the moment being alchemized. And I could feel it alchemizing for, the, for everyone I was talking to, for all the family. And it was beautiful. Then we went to this really beautiful restaurant downtown and there was like over 50 of us in the room. And typically I would be the one who would be there for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and then I would just be out. You know, I I would say, hey, if I'd even go truthfully and then leave. But this time I just sat there and I connected with everybody who was open and who was there. And um, I was like one of the, like literally one of the last people to leave with my grandma And I just got to share from an honest place with so many people and I got to hear from them in a new way too. It's like they came across as totally new because they were. And um, it was just a beautiful spiritual experience on so many levels and it was so powerful and I really wanted to just come home the night of and share this with you guys and for you to know that you know, it's okay to be feeling this extreme anxiety, borderline panic around family sometimes if we've gone through a spiritual awakening. That's going to be one of the most challenging things on this path time and time again is dealing with and communicating with family. But the big thing here is just trust, trust, trust. Stay in your heart as much as possible. And the one thing that really helped me is I was just like, I just kept letting the energy move. I just kept letting it flow. I kept trying to just let my heart open, my solar plexus open. And I just kept trying to be exactly who I was, authentic. And I and I tried my best to just let go of the thoughts of fear and panic and anxiety and just let them be and realize that this was from an old, you know, older connection. This isn't this just because my mind's saying something doesn't make it real. And you will be so amazed and you will be so blown away by the amazing progress and breakthroughs you can have when you really walk into your fear, when you walk into your anxieties and panic. And it doesn't even have to be with seeing old family. It can be in any situation. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I just want to inspire you all and to really help you guys feel safe when walking into your fear and just ultimately to know that God does not ever give you more than you can handle. So if you're feeling intense energy, if you're feeling big emotions, big fear, walk towards it. Walk towards it, walk towards it, walk towards it. It is so rewarding and it's going to really help you and those around you so much. And that emotion is there. It's signaling to you the opportunity in front of you. So whenever you have tons of emotion, tons of energy, 
know that there's tons of opportunity for healing. That's my video, guys. I love you all so much. I just love you all so much. And I thank you all so much for watching. It means so much to me. I feel like I'm saying so much a lot. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. Namaste.